courage. Oh, like that. Mm. And I think we, you know, previous, this is my, my you know, I just use my crutch here. I use that a lot when I listen back to myself. I'll be like, oh, you know, you don't know. You don't know what I'm saying. It's just my little filler in the middle of the conversation. So, you know, we've talked about this in loads of previous podcasts before, but it is that comfort in taking a risk, having an idea and putting yourself forward and knowing it might not work and knowing it could work, but being prepared to take that chance and... I say put sank on the line. More often than not, what you put on the line is just your own pride that something doesn't work and you've invested a bit of time in it or you've put sank publicly out then it's not seen. And, you know, sometimes it is money, sometimes it is other things, but a lot of the time the, the risk is that personal inside this might fail risk. And again, I just think of, of all the three, and they're, they're intrinsically linked. I don't think, I think they all support each other like in the circle, but of all the three, this is the one I really could, wish I could, push back and have had a bit more conviction to push ahead with ideas or try things or take risks or go and talk to people or whatever that thing is I told my my well-worn story of not going out of a band after a gig once and always regretting not doing that but I think it all comes back to that that preparedness just to put yourself out there and again I think it comes with experience and it comes with time and some people get early on some people get it later it always builds but it's another one of those things I wish I could just distill and pass back down the line and have when I was younger. Uh-huh.